Hi everyone. Let's take a look at today's question for Kubernetes practice questions for CKAD and CKA. So today's question is, we have a three node cluster set up locally using Kube ADM. One of the worker node is not ready. Troubleshoot and fix the worker node and check to see if it's ready. So I have a Kubernetes cluster set up with one master and two worker nodes. I'm logged in to my master node with a root. So let's set up an alias so I don't have to type kubectl all the time. Let's take a look at the nodes. So as I, see, as I said, like there's one master node and two worker nodes and one of the worker node is not ready and we have to find out why and fix it. So let's describe this worker node and see if we find any useful information. So if you see this uh, section here, it says kubelet stopped posting node status. So kubelet is the process or the node agent that runs on all the nodes and that communicate with the control plane or the master server. And apparently there is some problem with the kubelet process on the worker node and it's not able to post the node status. Okay, so let's log into that uh, worker node 2 and see why. So I'm going to SSH into the worker node 2. I'm going to elevate myself to root. Let's check the kubelet service status. Okay, so this is what it says. Service is activating, it's not active. Okay, so there is a config file here. Let's take a look at the config file and see if we find some information from there. So, cat. It seems like it's it has a kubelet config file configured at this location. So let's examine this file. So this is a server, which is the API server, which is the running on the control plane. So let's take a look and see if this host and the port is correct. Go back to the master node and let's take a look at Knode. So the IP address of the master node is correct, 10.0.0.10. That's why it is configured, 10.0.0.10. Let's check, take a look at the port. So this is set up, uh, this cluster is set up using kube ADM. So the default manifest files are located at Kubernetes manifest. And let's see, we should check the kube API server file. I'm going to grab uh, for, let's grab for 6440 and see if there's some information. So apparently kube servers advertise endpoint is at 6443 so the port and the host is correctly set up on the kubelet config file so let's take take a look at more stuff so there's a hint looks like here uh, that this file doesn't look to be correct so let's take a look in this folder and see if we have this file So apparently not, so this is our culprit. So we have to fix this to match the kubelet client current PAM. Okay, so we will, uh, not this, sorry. So let's fix it to the correct file name. This looks correct, save it. Now, since uh, we have to restart the kubelet service, so let's reload the daemon so system ctl daemon reload and then system ctl restart kubelet. Let's check the kubelet status now. System ctl status kubelet. And yes, our kubelet service is running 
it's active and our node should be ready on the if we can go back to master node and check our node status okay get node and worker node 2 is ready so this is how we trouble uh, shoot this uh, worker node not being ready so let's see take a look at the steps one more time so this is what we did on the master node we set up the alias alias k equal to kubectl so we don't have to type kubectl all the time in the exam uh, it's just two hours for 17 to 20 questions and it would be uh, every second counts checking the status of the node on the master and this is how and describe the node this is how we found that kubelet process is not responding so we went to the worker node and we checked the kubelet status which was activating but not an activate active status we found and fixed the issue the issue was the pem files name we restarted the kubelet by first doing the daemon reload and then restarted the kubelet and once that is done we finally went back to the master worker node sorry we finally went back to the master node and checked the status of the worker by running k get get node so that's all uh, for this question uh, i hope you like it Please like, subscribe and share and I'll be posting more questions on Kubernetes practice. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.